Welcome to Improving the Quality Measures, percent of residents experiencing one or more falls with major injury. This webinar is part of a series intended to help nursing homes understand and improve the 13 long-stay measures that are used to calculate the Quality Measure Composite Score. This measure reports the percent of long-stay residents who have experienced one or more falls with major injury reported in the target period or look-back period. The target period is the span or time that defines the QM reporting period, for example, a calendar quarter. The look back or observation period is the time period over which the resident's condition or status is captured by the MDS assessment. Most MDS items require an observation period, such as 7 or 14 days, depending on the item. The numerator for this measure is the number of long-stay residents with one or more look-back scan assessments that indicate one or more falls that resulted in major injury. So J1900C would be scored as a 1 or 2 on the MDS. As you can see on this slide, a major injury for the MDS is defined as one that has resulted in bone fractures, joint dislocations, closed head injuries with altered consciousness, and or a subdural hematoma. The denominator includes all long-stay residents with one or more look-back scan assessments, except those with exclusions. A look-back scan includes the target assessment, as well as these qualifying earlier assessments that meet all of the following conditions. 1. It is contained within the resident's episode. Each episode begins with an admission and ends with either a discharge or the end of the target period, whichever comes first. 2. It has a qualifying RFA, reason for assessment. And 3. Its target date is on or before the target date for the target assessment. There are two exclusions included in the denominator of this quality measure. The first exclusion is that the occurrence of falls was not assessed on all of the look-back scan assessments, so there would be a dash on J1800 for all look-back assessments. The second exclusion is that the assessment indicates that a fall occurred, score of 1 on J1800, and the number of falls with major injury was not assessed, dash on J1900C. To help identify what your team can do to improve this quality measure, refer to the RAI Manual Appendix C to find the care area assessment for falls. The care area assessment process provides a framework for guiding the reviews of triggered areas and clarification of a resident's functional status and related causes of impairments. It also provides a basis for additional assessment of potential issues, including related risk factors. The assessment of the causes and contributing factors gives the interdisciplinary team additional information to help them develop a comprehensive plan of care. For each resident who triggers for this quality measure, review their history of falls, physical performance limitations, medication history, as well as internal risk factors, laboratory test results, environmental factors, and input from the resident and or family or representative. Then analyze your findings, and for each resident document a description of the fall, the causes and contributing factors for the fall, as well as the factors that put the resident at risk for falls. This information should then be used in the development and implementation of an individualized plan of care for each resident which should decrease risks for fall with a major injury and thus help improve this quality measure. Implementing quality improvement in your nursing home works best if your nursing home has a culture that supports continuous quality improvement. Please refer to the CMS National Nursing Home Quality Care Collaborative Change Package that offers strategies that your team can implement to develop and enhance your quality culture. One of the strategies of high-performing nursing homes found in the change package is to provide exceptional, compassionate clinical care that treats the whole person. Reducing the likelihood of falls is a great example of this strategy. Please refer to this link to find other proven strategies to improve the quality culture within your nursing home. For further information about the quality measures or about the Nursing Home Quality Care Collaborative, please contact your state Lake Superior Quality Innovation Network lead listed on this slide. Refer to the MDS 3.0 RAI Manual and the MDS 3.0 Quality Measure Users Manual for more information about the quality measures. 
To clarify questions about the MDS and or the quality measures, contact your state RAI coordinator. Be sure to check out our short videos on each of the 13 quality measures that make up the composite score. Viewing the videos for each of the measures will help your team understand how each measure is calculated and will offer suggestions on first steps to improve each quality measure. Thank you.